Hello everyone, happy Friday. Frock Up Friday is back by popular demand. We did drop them back to uh, monthly after things started to return to normal after the whole COVID fiasco last year. Um, and people got busier and they had things to do. And so we decided we'd drop them back to monthly um, and free up people's time. But we've been receiving so many messages on social media and emails asking us to bring them back. So we're trialing them um, every Friday for the next few Fridays to see how they go. And if everyone's enjoying them, we will continue. Um, but it was really lovely to see that they've made such an impression on people and that people really look forward to these Friday nights together and the replays the next day um, and everyone's finding these really helpful. Online shopping is the way of the future. Um, everyone is doing it now. Some people are struggling with it um, and I think these sessions really help those people. You get to see the garments almost like they're being shown to you in a store. Um, I run through the look, the feel, how they fit, how to get the best fit for you, how to style them. It's exactly the same as traditional in-store service, but better, we think. We think we do it really well. <laughs> um, and so that's what you get when you're shopping with Miko and Molly. This is like a total holistic service. Um, we love these Friday nights. You can always hit us up for more information. We're basically like personal stylists. This is not like shopping in a store. It's actually better. You get way better service. Um, than, than you do in traditional stores. I personally think um, we're always available to give you the information that you want. Um, and we try things on for you, take photos, send them to you. Um, it's, yeah, it's foolproof. We hardly get any returns. So we know that our sizing advice is definitely on the money. So if you, if you need any, hit us up. We're always here to help and we love helping you get the right size. It's so much easier for you if you get the right size first time um, and we, we really get to know our customers as well. Um, we recently had a customer who didn't like the fit of a couple of jackets and was about to buy another jacket and I was like, no, 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 don't buy that one. You'll hate it. It's the same fit as the other two. So like we get to know you guys and uh, we don't let you make those sorts of mistakes because it's annoying for you, isn't it? <laughs> and we don't want that to happen. Um, we get to know our regular customers' sizes. There's been times where I've shot someone an email going, hey mate, just letting you know, um, I'm swapping these sizes for you because I think this one will be too big or it will be too small or whatever because we know how how all the garments fit so um yeah that's that's what you get when you shop with a good online boutique that's that is good online service to be honest um so that's what we do and then we do these little sessions on friday nights and we upload lots of styling videos to help you get to know the garments in real life so you, you're not left out there on your own trying to figure out whether or not they're going to look good on you or how they're going to fit we're here to help so tonight we actually have a session on the top five jacket styles that are going to be really huge this winter but also super super versatile so this is not every trend jacket that's going to come out we're kind of really about long-term investments in your wardrobe we're not big on like flashing the pan trends you'll probably find that we don't stock a lot of those at Miko and Molly um, we're more about because it's, it's not good for you and it's not good for the environment so we're about long-term high quality Australian designer fashion that you're going to love for decades not for one season um, so that's generally what you find for us and we've we've scoured the market we've done the research we are experts in fashion uh, we've been doing this a long time we immerse ourselves in this stuff so when we give you information like this we really know what we're talking about so we have scoured the market and come up with a top five jacket that you're going to see time and time again this season they have longevity they are super versatile tile and that will be really really useful in your wardrobes not just this season but ongoing so for many many years you'll be loving and enjoying these jackets um, they're also jackets that we find super versatile when it comes to casual and dressy in particular a couple of them that do both really really easily um, and those jackets are amazing to have in your wardrobe especially because this year we do have more events happening and there's nothing worse than getting into like a gorgeous dressy dress or skirt and top set and realizing it's 13 degrees that night and you're going to freeze and not having a suitable jacket to go with it so we do have a couple 
um, to show you tonight that are amazing for that circumstance. They go with everything. You'll never have to freeze and you'll never have to throw a dud jacket on top of an outfit that doesn't go just because you don't want to freeze. So we're trying to avoid those two issues and we definitely have a lineup of jackets that can do that for you. So let's jump in. Uh, we may as well start with the leather jacket because I'm wearing one at the moment. The leather jacket is and has been for such a long time and will continue to be a massive staple in winter wardrobes for decades to come. You want to buy high quality, um, yeah, super, like super high quality leather that's going to last and last and last if you look after it. And we're going to do a session on leather care um, sometime soon for you so that you can make sure you get 10 years out of these garments. Um, and that's the reality of the situation. If you're looking after your leather goods, they should last you a decade. They're a really great investment. They're often a high price point because they're a premium quality fabric, um, especially if you're buying good quality. Um, but if you take care of them, they'll last forever and a day and they're always very timeless cuts. Um, so they do tend to last a long, long time and become a, a massive staple of your wardrobe that you'll get so much use out of. So they're an incredible investment. So we, we have seen that biker jackets and the, the classic cut leather jacket have been around for so long, like eight to 10 years, and they're not going anywhere. They're going to be here forever. So they are a really, really good investment piece. So we highly recommend a good leather jacket this winter season because you'll be wearing it for winters and winters to come. They're also great for the shoulders seasons as well I wear my leather jackets all through autumn and all through spring as well so that's three seasons out of four that you're getting a lot of use out of these jackets so they are an excellent investment one thing I will say with all of the jackets is generally we give size advice on our website we try everything on and we'll let you know whether things are running true to size small so go up a size or big so go down a size um, but you need to pay attention to the way the garment is supposed to fit. If you've got those two pieces of information, you literally cannot get sizing wrong. So if there's information there saying run small, run standard or true to size, runs big, and then you're looking at the photographs to see how the designer intended the garment to be worn, boom, done. Those two pieces of information, perfect size advice. You can't go wrong. So. With something like this, you would see that we've got a relatively straight cut here if I hold my arms up um, and there's a little bit of looseness to it. And this jacket uh, runs a little bit small, so but it's supposed to fit like this. And I'm wearing a size eight because it does run small. I'm a six, six to eight, generally a size six up top and I chose to buy an eight in this jacket. Um, so that's how I know that it's running small. Um, but it, if you look at the photos on the website, it hangs like this with a bit of space and a bit of looseness and that's the way it's designed to be worn. So when the website says run small and you see it fitting like this, that does mean if you're between sizes, you can probably go down a size if you prefer a closer fit. If you don't want it to fit the way it's fitting on me. And in particular, you have to remember with jackets, if you don't intend to do them up, if that's just not how you would ever wear the jacket, you have a lot more leeway there. So if you're between sizes, you can generally go down a size if you never intend on being able to do them up. And personally, I never, ever, ever, ever do any of my jackets up. So there's always that option. If you want to get rid of some of that bulkiness and body to it, you can go down a size if you're between sizes. If you want to go down a full size, it's a little bit more important to read the instructions on the web pages um, and pay close attention to the photographs to make sure you um, can generally fit your shoulders. It's more the shoulders and the inside seams that you're going to be worrying about. Um, and so if you're, if you're considering going down a full size and um, the web page says run small or run true to size, I would highly, highly recommend that you contact the retailer and just ask for some size advice. Get them to try it on for you. Make sure that if you're going down a full size, it's going to fit your shoulders, it's going to fit your internals so that you don't pull the lining. So that's my size advice and it applies to all of these jackets. Um, so it's, if they don't have the information on the website, call them or email them and ask. 
um, but generally we always have the size information on our website so it's pay attention to the size information that the retailer is giving you and then pay attention to the photographs because they work hand in hand so if a retailer generally this is the smart way of doing it this is how we do it is that if the retailer says runs true to size then the photos are showing you how it will fit if it's true to size um, so we know that PE Nation runs very, very large in its sizing when it comes to jackets most of the time. And so you'll often see that the models, will, it'll say uh, runs true to size, but the model's wearing a size small. And generally, PE Nation will do an extra, extra small, an extra small, and a small. So a small is three sizes up from the smallest, and those models are generally a six to eight that it might say that they're a standard size eight but gen they're quite tall normally um, and I have found when I compare my fits to theirs I, I, I believe the way it's looking on those models is that those models are more like a six to eight um, so yeah it's really important to pay attention to the retailers sizing advice if they don't have good specific sizing advice on there um, call them or email them and ask for some size help it's as easy as that. Any good online retailer is going to give you all the help you need to get the right size. Um, it's, it's, they know that you know it's disappointing when it rocks up and it doesn't fit you, especially if you had plans to wear it that weekend or what have you. So any good retailer worth their salt is going to bend over backwards to give you great sizing advice. So ask for it. <laughs> so that's it, leather jackets, always huge. Perfect investment, can't go wrong. They work really well with everything from t-shirts, jeans, and sneakers to what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Camilla Candon Moon Double Frill Maxi Skirt and the Talking About a Revolution Lace Up Cami um, and a pair of heels, actually. And this jacket goes beautifully with this outfit. I would wear this out without a drama. But I also love this jacket. This is the Elka Collective Carry leather jacket and we're almost sold out of this now. It's very, very popular. Um, and we also have a big restock of the Second Skin Blake Biker leather jacket. So that has a lot more biker detail to it. Super, super cool jacket. I adore it. Um, we've got a couple of those left and we've got a big restock of them coming. So uh, they're my two favourites. They're my big recommendations in leather jackets at the moment. This is a more classic cut to it, very minimal detailing, very easy to style. And then if you're looking to really bunk up your wardrobe, um, the Blake Biker jacket is amazing. So one of five down. Moving on. Everyone knows I adore a good bomber jacket and the bombers are going to be huge this season. I have here the Camilla London Cooling Bomber Jacket, which is actually reversible, and I am obsessed with this jacket. It's got um, detailing embellishments on both sides. It's a really great one. Can you see that? Um, and then on the other side, it's got an amazing leopard print, like can't go wrong. Everyone needs a bit of leopard in their wardrobe, and also leopard um, pairs back with lots of different prints so easily. Um, like what I'm wearing at the moment, you would not think animal print would pair back really well with this and I love it. So, and we all know, I love a bomber jacket, particularly the Camilla bomber jackets for um, those shoulder seasons, autumn and spring, because they look amazing wrapped around your waist for those days where it's like 23, 24 degrees, you're heading out, um, but you might stay out and have a couple of cocktails or you might um, grab some dinner later and the temperature's going to be dropping. So it's like walk around all day carrying a jacket with you or wrap a Camilla bomber because they're nice and thin but silk still has a good wind protection from it and so it blocks out a bit of wind and will keep you warm. Um, but because they're nice and light, they wrap around the waist really easily um, and then can just be undone and popped on once that temperature starts dropping. So no excuse for being cold. I love this jacket. I, I honestly wear it all the time. And again, looks great with a white t-shirt, jeans and sneakers just as much as it does with your dressier stuff. So it gives you kind of like a really cool street style look. So I am obsessed with this one. And my other 
absolute fave bomber at the moment is the P Nation Regain Bomber. Blush pink is huge this season, and so this is a really great way to inject a bit of this season's hottest color into your wardrobe. Um, it's got so many really cool, sporty details. Um, this one's definitely a really sports sort of um, bomber and um, looks great with jeans and also all of your active wear. So like I really love all black active wear underneath this and a great pair of sneakers. Um, and that's a great look for running around doing your errands on a Sunday, a Saturday morning, watching the kids sport because this is super warm. So you will definitely not be sitting out there freezing in eight degrees. Um, but also even that all black active wear look underneath and a pair of heels is amazing for that sports luxe look that we all love. Any woman who walks into a room wearing something like that, like it's so simple. It's literally your active wear and a great bomber and a pair of heels. But a woman walks into a room wearing that and you're like, who are you fashion goddess? Like seriously, it's that easy. We can all do it. So I adore this bomber. This is a really good one because um, P Nation have actually added zippers to the side here. Now they're a cheeky little sneaky um, cheat really. Um, Cause when you do them up, you've got that classic bomber fit. It pulls in around the, the hips and gives you that really boxy bomber look. Like there's a lot of puff here. It's going nowhere. That's it. You have to love the look. If you don't love the look, you're going to hate a, a, a puffy bomber like this. However, P Nation have popped these zips in here. If you undo the side zips, it actually separates that um, elastic down by the hips, pulling it in and gives you a much straighter look. So immediately all that puff that was happening up here because the waist was being pulled in at your hips, so that's what it looked like before, is gone. So this is a really great entry level super puffy bomber for people who don't like super puffy bombers because you can undo those zips and wear it in a much straighter, straighter fit. I'm wearing the extra, extra small here and I could easily have gone down another size, maybe even two. I highly recommend in these super puffy bombers. Unless a retailer says there's no room in them, then don't do it because of the shoulders or the internals. Uh, generally, you can go down a full size, no problem, maybe even two. And again, it comes down to what have they written on their website and how do the photos look to that compared to that. And generally, you'll find um, these, these sorts of bombers will look super puffy and you can order with confidence going down at least a size. And if you hate puff, go down two sizes. That's what I think anyway. So, and I adore this. I'm absolutely in love with this bomber. Blush pink, sporty details, gold hardware everywhere. Blush pink and gold seriously has my heart. So I'm obsessed with this one. So bomber jackets, huge this season, huge last season, will be huge forever and a day. They are amazing and they're super, super warm. They're a really great way of staying warm in winter. Okay, next one. Now, what are you saying there, Jazz, about Lady Lodge? I'm just checking. Just let me know if you have any questions, because I just picked up that you'd mentioned Lady Lodge. Um, I'm not entirely convinced that this, if you was, if that's what you're saying, I'm not entirely convinced that the reverse side is Lady Lodge because it's got a lot of blue detailing in it that I have not seen or recognised on um, Lady Lodge. So I'm, I couldn't tell you what the reverse print is, um, but this print is definitely London calling. Um, okay. Two out of five must have winter jackets down. The third one, faux fur. Huge, 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 huge. Has been massive for a couple of years now. Is not going anywhere. Faux's the way to go. It's um, obviously animal friendly. Um, no one's wearing real fur anymore. It's all about the faux and it's all about qu high quality faux. So the reason a lot of people erred away from um, faux for the last couple of decades is because generally you could tell it was nasty it was messy the fur molted everywhere it would mat together and never come back to life properly again it, they were just horrible along came unreal fur 
best, 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 highest quality faux fur um, jackets on the market by far, in my personal opinion. They are amazing. You can mess the fur up and just pat it back down again. That's how high quality it is. That's how you can tell a high quality faux fur jacket. Um, I personally would not buy anything else. Uh, they are really worth their money. They, the, the quality difference between them and any other faux fur I've seen in real life is just miles apart. Um, and so they are back with a vengeance again this year. You can't go past them. They're amazing. And this is, this is the jacket that I was talking about before that does casual and dressy so, so well. So like a faux fur jacket over a white tee, jeans and sneakers looks unreal it's one of my favorite outfits to wear whenever i see a woman out wearing an outfit like that i'm just like style goals you look amazing um but also these are the jackets you throw on over your super dressy stuff when you're about to go to an event and you're like oh my god i don't have a jacket in my wardrobe that's going to go with this um often it's between a trench coat and a faux fur jacket. If you're wearing a long line maxi dress, a trench coat can look a, a bit off. I don't like that look. I don't like to see like a mid-length trench coat belted up over a maxi dress. I, I don't know, there's something about it that I just don't like. However, a cropped or a midi faux fur jacket over a maxi, perfect. And works with a mini as well. These are so, so versatile. So you definitely need one of these in your wardrobe this winter, especially if you've got any events coming up. I know everyone's trying to cram wedding and things in this year so I think we're going to see a lot of winter weddings a lot of winter engagement parties um, because people are still afraid that COVID's going to interrupt all of these things so they're pushing them through in non-traditional wedding and engagement party seasons um, and we've got a backlog of events that need to happen things that didn't happen last year and people are like at annual events and people are wanting to get them back on board so I think we're going to see a lot of event activity this year which means your wardrobe needs to be ready to accommodate event wear and jackets that go with them and the faux furs are the best the best option in my opinion because they do everything and more and i really implore you to try the casual look too because it's so so cool so this is the brand new fur delicious mocha and i'm absolutely obsessed with this now this these jackets you honestly can't get the sizing wrong um, because they're made to be big and bulky and loose um, when you're buying these, you need to be thinking about how you're going to wear it, whether you want to wear it done up, open, and if you want to fit layers underneath. So if you want to fit layers underneath, generally go either your standard size or if you're between sizes, go upper size so you can fit knits and things underneath. If you don't ever intend on wearing layers, um, often with these, if you're between sizes, you can definitely go down a size because they are made to have a little bit of extra space in them. Um, I've got a medium on and I'm a size six to eight. So, and I mean, it doesn't look silly, does it? So you really can't get these wrong. They're big, they're bulky, they've got a lot of fur to them. So who even knows what size you are underneath, to be honest. Um, so I adore these. The crop length makes them super wearable. You can wear them with almost anything. Um, I'll just try on the other color, which I have here in a small, so that you can see the difference in the sizing. Once I've got it on, you can hardly see any difference in the sizing. So it's more about under here, how do you feel um, when you put it on? So um, honestly, people outside of you aren't going to be able to tell the difference between the sizes at all. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just a number on a tag, right? <laughs> so yes, I, I honestly think these are fail proof for buying online because you can't really get the sizing wrong unless you go too, too small, which would be like probably two sizes below your standard size. Um, and that's because generally they have um, a non-natural, no strength, no, uh, no stretch lining. And so if you go too small, you're going to start to feel that it's going to be tight across the shoulders, tight across the back. You'll start getting pulls through the seams, which you definitely don't want when you're buying beautiful investment jackets like these that should last you 10 years. Um, but other than that, you can't really go wrong with size. These are amazing, which is why we stopped them because they are such an easy purchase for online as long as you're comfortable with bulk. Um, so if you're not comfortable with bulk, if you don't like the way bulky jackets um, sit on your body, if, if it just doesn't make you feel good and sexy and beautiful, then steer clear of faux fur jackets and steer clear of puffers. 
Um, and the big bombers as well. So go for your Camilla bombers, which are thinner, go for your leather jackets, um, go for trench coats um, because they're slimmer line and you're not going to put them on and be like, oh, I hate all of this puff and bigness. And this was the fur delish in the natural versus the mocha that you just saw. Another one that we're loving for winter is slightly, these are like, we're seriously getting into winter here. These are winter, winter jackets. Um, this one is like a mid-length. I adore this jacket. This is the premium rose in emerald green. And I love a mid-length. This looks so amazing with like light denim. And uh, again, just a simple white t-shirt and sneakers. It's a really cool outfit. But being a mid-length, big collar, big, beautiful fur. This actually has black through it as well. So it's just beautiful. I love this jacket. Um, this is the one that's going to keep you warm all winter long. I adore it. Okay, that's three out of five. Four out of five is the puffer jacket. Um, puffers again this year, they were huge last year. They're gonna be big again this year. We've got a few great ones, traditional puffers. We've got the um, P Nation Full Court, which is quite long. Um, and we've also got a big restock of that coming next week. And um, then we've got the upside puffers, the Mara, I think it's called, and the Norelli, um, which are your traditional puffers sit on the hip um, and um, just your standard puffy jacket. Really great for like kids sport, throw on your jeans, a pair of sneakers, great logo tee underneath, got your keep cup. Um, and that's a really cool like soccer mum look, I think. It takes very little effort and you still look super stylish and they keep you so damn warm. Puffers are amazing. There's nothing worse than being cold in winter. Um, so we're loving all those traditional puffers, but we have the brand new Unreal Fur Amsterdam puffer. Now they brought this out for the first time last year and it literally sold out in days. People were loving it and I couldn't work out why and then I worked it out. It is amazing on every single figure, taller ladies and shorter ladies. And then I gave it some thought and I was like, shorter ladies or the more petite figures can't wear puffers. They swamp them. It's too much. It just, it just consumes them. So no wonder they're adoring the Amsterdam puffer because it doesn't do that. Now let me pop this one on for you. This is like a beautiful um, velvet feel jacket. It's so gorgeous to wear. This is a very sporty vibe as most puffers are. Um, so as you can see here, it's got your traditional puffer look, but then it tapers right in at the waist with a big elasticated waistband and a cropped shape to it. So it takes away a lot of that big flounce that comes generally to the hips in a puffer jacket and makes um, people just feel a bit more streamlined and a bit less overwhelmed, especially if you're of a shorter height, it just, it will fit a lot better than a traditional puffer will fit. So these are always super, super, super popular. We've already, I think we released them two days ago and we've already almost sold out of them again. Like it's crazy, um, but now I get it. I understand these are a very, very intelligent cut by Unreal Fur, we're very impressed. Um, and honestly, that velvet feel is just incredible. And I'm getting hot in this right now. So like these are so warm. I just love these. And they've got also the cute thumb detail here. So that's a very sporty look, um, but also very convenient because it keeps that sleeve down, keeps the wind out, um, super, super warm. So we're loving the Amsterdam puffer. And the last jacket of the five that we think are wardrobe staples for winter and will not let you down is the trench coat. Um, and I did have that here somewhere. Maybe I left it in my office. <laughs> Maybe I should go grab that for you. Um, actually, we're doing a full session on it next week. So um, like a full styling session. We'll probably do five or six different looks with the brand new P Nation Propel trench coat. That trench coat is unreal. It, uh, trench coats were huge last season and we saw a lot of very traditional tan and cream um, trench coats, but this year they've gone off the charts. So the P Nation Propel trench coat is black, like a canvas fabric with a belt, like a utility belt and inside it's got like a neon yellowy green lining. 
so 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 cool and given that we know trench coat's going to be around for a while it's a really great investment it's a nice update on the traditional tan trench coat so you really can't go wrong with that trench coat it's quite a sporty look so we're going to show you a lot a few different um looks on how to style that one next week because it's unreal and i can't wait to show you all the different ways i've been wearing mine so there we have it, five staple jackets. These are not the only jackets that are gonna be huge this year, but these are the ones that um, have been around for a while, uh, around this year, and I expect to be around for a few more years to come. So these are the ones that I think you're gonna get a lot of wear out of. They're also the more versatile styles. So I think these are great investments. You do not need all five, but I would be investing in at least one to two of these jackets to see you through this winter season. Um, and so that is recap, bombers, puffers, faux fur, trench coats, leather. Um, and like I said, if you're wanting to pop a couple of these into your wardrobe, one at a minimum is a must. I'd go with two and I'd probably go something more casual like a bomber. And then the, everyone needs one of the faux furs because they just do double duty. They do casual and dressy so easily. You'll never get caught out this winter with an outfit that you're loving and can't wait to wear. And then you realize it's cool and you're like, oh, I don't have a jacket that's going to go with this outfit. So the faux furs really save your bacon in um, those sorts of situations. So I highly recommend those. I have a lot of faux fur jackets in my wardrobe and they never, ever, ever let me down. Um, so as you know, when you join us at Frock Up Friday, you get a special little discount that's valid for three hours after the end of, oh, Cara's asking me what are my two go-to. So I'll just tell you about the Friends with Courtney, Friends of Courtney discount and then I'll let you know which are my two go-tos um, out of those five. If I had to choose two, I'll let you know what they are. Um, so the Friends of Courtney discount for tonight is by any one of the puffers, bombers, leather jackets, trench coats, or faux furs on meconmolly.com. Any jacket that fits that bill, 10% off, and that includes a further 10% off the ones that are already on sale. Um, or buy two and you get 20% off. And again, that can include a further 20 off the ones that are already on sale. So the 10% for one is Friends of Courtney, all capital letters, all one word. And the 20% um, off if you buy two or more is Friends of Courtney, all capital letters, all one word, 20. Two O. Um, so that's your special little discount for coming along and listening tonight. For a valid for three hours after the end of the live. So, well, actually, don't run off and leave me now, but it's it's active right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we really wanted to help you get a couple of these into your wardrobe because we are so passionate about these styles and we know that they're going to give you so much versatility and mix and match with so many things you already have in your wardrobe. Like I said, if you've got a white t-shirt, jeans and sneakers, all of these jackets are going to take your wardrobe from here to here this winter and keep you nice and toasty warm. Um, that, that outfit goes incredible with all of these jackets. Um, and then the rest is the sky's the limit. It just get super creative with it. The faux furs will wear really well over all of your high level event where they will not let you down and then everything in between. So now my top two, if I had to choose two, I just said I have a lot of faux fur in my wardrobe, so I'd be lying if I didn't say a faux is a no-brainer for me. I always buy one every season um, because, because of that versatility. I love the, wearing them with my t-shirts and my jeans and just having that really cool off-duty model style look. Um, uh, but then they have served me so well for events the last few years as well in the middle of winter when it's freezing and I'm like, oh, what am I going to wear? Um, the faux furs have always saved me. I love them um, worn undone, but I also love them belted, especially the mid-length one, the premium rose. Looks incredible with a belt around it. And I have worn this like a number of times over work 
outfits. So like a black pair of work pants and a shirt or even a t-shirt underneath and belt my faux fur. For, it gets really bitterly cold here in the middle of winter in Adelaide. Um, so belting one of those faux furs over a work outfit works really well for me, keeping me super warm um, to and from work. Um, and But still looking like really put together and professional was really cool as well. Obviously quite fashion forward too. So that's that, that was a nice look. So the faux furs are no brainer for me, but if I have to choose two, um, obviously the leather jacket has, I've been wearing a leather jacket for probably 10 years um, and has served me super, super well. Um, and I love a good quality leather. The Elka collectives are just beautiful. And it's why we sell out of them every season. Um, and the second skin biker leather jacket, the Blake is just so cool with those extra biker details. So it's a leather jacket for me. And the second one would have to be, I think the second one would have to be the P Nation Regain Bomber, just because I love blush pink. It's one of my favorite colors. I'm so glad that it's so huge this season and it matches so well with khaki, which is also really huge this season. That khaki and blush pink combination is just like heart melt for me. Um, but I just love all of these sporty little details. And I love the gold hardware. So um, this jacket is a favorite of mine and I wear it all the time. Um, so I think my top two has to be one of the leather jackets and the P Nation Regain Bomber. If you don't already have a faux fur in your wardrobe and I highly recommend that too. But yeah, those are my two faves. Any other questions, ladies? I'll have a little sip of my wine while I wait to see if anything pops up. I thought you would have said a Camilla Bomber. Well, you know, I love those. I have quite a few of those in my wardrobe. Um, and yeah, I do like, I love being able to wrap them around my waist because they're thin and you can just wrap it around, which means you've always got a jacket with you because I hate being cold. I can't stand it. There's nothing worse than being freezing cold, especially if you're stuck out somewhere. And to be honest, I've left events and I've left outings with friends and things because I'm cold before. So I just, I just generally don't, um, allow it to happen. I always have a jacket on me and with those Camilla bombers It's nice not to be carrying it around with you and it's also a fashion statement wrapping a bomber around your waist Always makes every outfit look really really cool whether you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans or a dress uh, Like a silk dress. I've wrapped it around my waist wearing a silk dress before and it looks incredible um, So yeah, I, I love that. I love the fact that it's always there for me I don't have to carry it around and it's keeping me warm when I need it which P Nation jacket would be warmer, Regain or Underspin? Oh, tough question. Do you know what? In terms of construction, they're both very, very similar. I would have to say the underspin might be a, a smidge more warm because it's got the Sherpa on the sleeves. So the sleeves are a bit thicker on that one, I think. But in terms of the backs and the front of it, the constructions are very, very similar. So it would just be that extra warmth on the sleeve area. But good question. Any other questions before we wind up for the night and I let you get on with your shopping? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me tonight. It has been such a joy. I love, love, love our Frock Up Fridays. I, I, I decided to drop them back to monthly because I wanted to give you guys your time back once like life started to kick off again. And it was just so heartwarming to receive so many calls and emails and social media DMs saying, where's Frock Up Friday? We love it. And that's just so beautiful. And it's a real testimony to the community that we've developed here, I think, because you guys don't just jump on to hear me rabbit on about God knows what every Friday night. You guys jump on to connect with each other as well. And I just think that's so lovely. And it's a massive credit to all of you. You're such wonderful people. Um, and it's really such an honor as, as Miko and Molly for us as a team to be able to bring you guys together. Like it's such an honor. It makes us feel so good. Um, the girls love watching these lives and watching all of your comments and um, yeah, it just makes our job so worthwhile. So thank you so much. We love it. Glad you love it. See you next week to go through the trench. Bye guys. <laughs>